MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. We've travelled to Cornwall today, and I'm here with the president of Ridgeybore USA. Anthony, can you tell me about Ridgeybore? Yes, Ridgeybore, uh, we are a boring tool company, um, and we believe we produce the most accurate boring tools in the world. Okay, and I see you've got an active edge tool in your hand. How yes. does this work? Yes, the active edge tool is basically an automatically adjustable system. Okay, it allows us to adjust the tool within microns and uh, without any operator intervention. Okay, and how does it how does it work? It works by um, a transmission of radio signal. Um, so you would use it as an in a normal like a normal boring tool. Basically, you would bore the hole and you would measure that hole. Um, that hole can be measured with a probe or some sort of measuring gauge system, either in the machine or out of the machine. And then once we establish the size of that hole, we then need to change the size of that hole to keep the tolerance of the ball there. Um, it will then send that information to the tool and the tool will automatically move within a micron of position. Wow, so no operator intervention whatsoever? No need for the operator to open the door, stop the machine, get inside and do any of that, no. And today we've seen the demonstration on a very popular machine here in the UK, the Fanuc Robo Drill, obviously driven by a Fanuc control. What happens if I'm a Siemens user or a Mazak user, possibly? Um, yes, you can use it in the same way. Um, we have different macros that we use depending on the type of control that person has. So for us, it really doesn't make any difference. Sure. And the one in your hand again, it's a 30 taper. Yes. Do you, do you stop 40, 50 taper? Yes, we do. Any, any taper at all. Well, HSK, whatever the customer's machine spindle is. And, and obviously, we look at this as a system. Um, people would look at it maybe as a boring tool. It is a boring tool, but it's actually a system because we're having to move the tool automatically. So we build this to order, okay, and on whatever machine that customer wants to use. Okay. And I see it's a cartridge system, so if we were to have a little prank, we don't have to buy an expensive tool, we just replace the cartridge. No, the most amazing part of this is that everything that moves is inside this cartridge. So there's actually no mechanical moving parts in the bar whatsoever. Okay? So the great part about it is every cartridge has a unique ID. So if you damage something, you can take this cartridge out, put a new one back in, and then you map the new ID to the tool, to this part of the tool and then you're up and running again. I can see some obvious advantages, maybe automation, lights out machining, but just to hear Rigiball's perspective, who would buy a tool like this, a solution like this? Um, anybody that's trying to you know, reduce cost. You know, if, you, if, you, if you're wanting to do lights out, then obviously, and you have a critical diameter, then really this, this is a very, very great way of doing it. You can put it on a standard machine. It's self-powered, uses batteries inside here. Okay, so we, we're not having to modify the machine. It's very easy for us to go and put this tool in there. So aerospace, um, high production, anything like that, where you, you, you're looking to have accurate bore sizes kept in tolerance. How accurate? Within a micron. Really, within a micron? Within a micron. It will move to half a micron on radius. Anthony, there's many people that produce boring solutions, so why would they visit Ridgibore? Um, because we believe we have the most accurate boring tools in the world. And if you're interested in that, you know, just visit rigiboard.com. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.